He wanted to end Soviet communism along the way to then getting rid of nuclear weapons. But the sequencing is very, very important there. Uh, you know, others on the left who wanted complete nuclear disarmament, Reagan thought they were nuts. He said, look, we've got to get rid of the Soviet Union first, then we can get rid of nuclear weapons. And this, of course, is his vision for SDI, the Strategic Defense Initiative, um, which, uh, you know, the, the missile shield that he wanted, uh, wanted to build and was very, you know, very visionary, even if it didn't become uh, operational at the time. And again, this really, this really terrified Gorbachev. So that context is important for fast forwarding to today, the, you know, the questions about, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, when President Trump recently uh, withdrew from the INF Treaty. Um, I, uh, I think President Reagan would have understood that decision and maybe even would have made it himself because, again, it's a very different strategic moment we're in right now where the real strength of uh, one of the, uh, the, Chi the People's Liberation Army, the Chinese military, is one of their core strengths is intermediate range nuclear missiles. And they have hundreds of them targeting Taiwan, hundreds more targeting Japan, targeting our allies in, uh, in, in Asia. And so in some ways it is in Asia right now kind of a 1983 moment. And 1983 is the year that President Reagan deployed our intermediate range nuclear missiles in, in Europe. And he wanted eventually to get rid of all of them, but he knew that he would not have a strong negotiating hand to, get, to have the force the Soviets to get rid of their missiles until we first, uh, get rid of, uh, until we first deploy ours. Um, so you've got to point the gun at them, you've got to cock the gun at them to then get them to negotiate.